Hey guys, it is that time of year again. It is back to school time and I'm excited to share with you my back to school prep video for this school year. In today's video, I'm getting lots of cleaning and decluttering done, getting the kids school clothes ready for the first week of school. I'm tidying up their homework station. I've got lots of snacks for back to school that I'll share with you. And then I did a ton of back to school projects for the kids and for the teachers. I hope you love today's video and that it gives you some fun ideas for back to school. Day one, we are starting with getting the kids' rooms cleaned up and decluttering their clothes. So the first thing I'll do is go ahead and get their bedding going in the washing machine so it'll be done before it's time for bed tonight. Now, like I said earlier, I'm getting a ton of stuff done in this video to prepare for back to school and making the first week go as smooth as possible, but also super fun for the kids. I know I go a little over the top, but this is just one of those things that is so much fun for me and I love doing every single year. My back to school video is one of my favorite videos to make all year and I have a back to school prep playlist if you wanna see some of my videos from the past few years and all the little back to school breakfasts and projects that I've done in the past. Now, while I'm getting the washer going, I wanted to say a quick thank you to everyone here for watching and supporting my channel. I know some of you have been asking for this video and when it would go up for a while, and so thank you for being so patient with me as my family has been super busy the last week. So thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart for coming here and hanging out with me here on my channel. And if you're new, then I'm so glad that you're here. I hope you'll love my content and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my new videos. And if you are new, be sure to introduce yourself down in the comments so that way we can say hey. Okay, so as you can see here, we've got a bit of a mess with all of Gracie June's teeny tiny little toys, and she actually wanted to put them here on this bookshelf. And since most of the books that we have on our shelf are from when I was a teacher, I taught second grade, and then the last year I taught third grade, so most of these books are like third grade and under reading level. So I decided we would go ahead and declutter this, these bookshelves, put our books that we're not using anymore. We're going to put these in this bin for right now. I still need to go through them and decide which ones we're going to keep and then which ones we're going to give away. Um, and then I'm keeping the chapter books, all the books that are on her level or higher. So we're just going to put those in her closet and then she's going to use the bookshelf to put all of her teeny tiny little toys she wanted to make it like different types of rooms so like a bedroom a grocery store which i thought was super creative so we're going to do that in this space so that way all of these teeny tiny little toys have a place to go and not on her dresser tonight we're running on the right track Okay, so as Gracie June was cleaning up all of this mess and kind of organizing all of her toys the way she wanted to, I went downstairs and folded some laundry. So I'm going to show you the before and after. This is what it looked like. This is the mess I left her with. And then she cleaned it all up. And by the time I came back up here, it was nice and organized. And I was so proud of her. It looked so good. Here's how her little bookshelf turned out, and yes, she uses the little Jenga blocks as furniture pieces, which I think is so funny. So anyways, she had it how she wanted it, so that's how we left it, and I'm good with it because it's not all over the place, and I can actually clean the furniture in her room now, and it's not scattered with toys. But now I'm going to go through her closet and then through her drawers, and then I'll do the same thing in Kaysen's room and go through anything that's too small or maybe it has a tear in it or something and I'm gonna declutter the clothes. Now I did declutter a lot of their clothes before summer started but 
I'm telling you, Gracie June is growing so fast. So a lot of these dresses that were long enough before summer are now a little too short for her. So a lot of them were giving away, but then there's a few dresses that were like short sleeve little dresses that you could play around in. And they were just a little too short for her to wear out in public, but I did keep them as cover-ups for her bathing suit. So when we go to the pool or the beach or something, she has those. Now, in last year's back to school video, I shared with you a back to school clothing haul for both of my kids. And this year, my kids are actually going to be switching schools. They're going to a private school and they have uniforms. So I ended up purchasing their uniforms. That was all I had to get for back to school this year, which the uniforms still aren't cheap. But I do think that the uniforms are going to make our mornings a whole lot easier. And also laundry might be a little bit easier I don't know. We'll have to see. But you'll see when I go through their clothes, I actually got rid of a ton of Gracie June stuff. And then Kaysen had a lot of hang up stuff that was either too small for him or he just wasn't wearing it anymore. Okay, here's the basket of just Gracie June stuff. Now, I'm going to throw case and stuff in here too, but this is all the stuff that I got rid of. Lots of shorts that were too short, lots of dresses that were too short, and even some shirts. A lot of the shirts were, they still fit her, but she just never wore them. So I decided I would just give them to a friend of ours. Okay, and here's the pile of Kaysen's clothes. Like I said, it's a lot less, but I didn't have a whole lot that didn't fit him anymore. And most of the stuff that he has in his drawers, he wears all the time. So that's all of their clothes. They're all decluttered. Now I'm going to go ahead and put their bedding back on their beds since that's done. And then I'm going to leave the actual dusting and stuff for the next day. So both of my kids actually have the Betty's bedding, which is the zip up bedding. I don't know if you guys have seen it before but they are amazing. We have had their bedding for a little over three years now and they have held up so well. My kids love this bedding because they can zip up their beds and make their beds in less than a minute. And then I love it because it's so easy for them to make and it looks nice without them having to try. So it looks like I've made their beds when really they did. <laughs> and I also um, love it because like I said, it's just really good quality. It's held up really well. Um, it's a little bit pricier than the bedding that we've had in the past, but honestly, because it's such good quality and easy to wash, it's easy to make, I feel like it's totally worth the money. But I also have a 20% off coupon code. It's just Amy D. So please make sure you use that code so you don't pay full price if you end up getting the bedding for your kids or even for yourself. There are tons of different color options and styles. They have throw blankets and pillows on their website. So I'll be sure to leave a link to their website down in my description box with my coupon code as well in case you want to check those out. And I know a lot of you have said that you've purchased the Bettys for yourselves and I'd love to hear what you guys think of it if you've purchased. Um, do you think it, that the Bettys is worth the money? Would you buy it again? I'd love to hear what a lot of you think of the bedding just because then that way other people can read the comments and see what people think as well and not just go based off of my word because I know that I share this bedding all the time whenever I'm up here cleaning the kids bedrooms but that's because I seriously love it so much and I always get questions about it because it is different than your typical bedding.
right now both beds are made it is actually later in the evening and we're getting ready to go do some sports and stuff so I decided that's all the tidying up we're gonna do in here today and then I come back the next morning and I'm gonna actually do some dusting and cleaning in here so here I've got my cleaning caddy with all my cleaning supplies that I'm going to need for today. My cleaning products, I've got a little duster, I've got a couple of microfiber cloths and I do clean with these dry just so you know. And I am ready to get started cleaning in here. Now for today's video I do share a ton of products, I share cleaning products, I share cleaning tools and other items that I've purchased for back to school prep or any of that kind of stuff. I will make sure to link everything that I can find down in the description box. So if you're looking for a link to maybe my cleaning caddy or some of the supplies that I used in today's video, be sure to check out the description box. There's a little arrow that you just click right below this video and it drops down and you'll see all the links and everything that you need right there in that spot. I'll also be sure to leave the link to the playlist for all the back to school videos there and any other cleaning videos or organization videos by categories, you can find that there as well. One step forward and another back, I will never try to fool ya. I'm one heartbeat away from going mad. Girl, when you're looking like that Closer, closer I'ma get closer to you Yeah, got me, baby Got me hooked on you once again Now the last thing I'm going to do in here is a quick vacuum and this is the vacuum that I got a few months ago. It's a Eureka vacuum. I got it from Walmart and it's a very good price. It's a pretty heavy duty vacuum cleaner um, and the canister on this thing is way bigger than the vacuum that I used before. I, I always use the Shark Uplight before. It's still my all time favorite vacuum. Um, I still think it's the best vacuum I've ever had. But this canister is a little bit bigger, which I love. And it also has like the brush roll, um, self-cleaning brush roll, just like the shark vacuums do. So I don't ever have to worry about all the hair getting stuck around the brush roll and all of that. So I love that. This vacuum has been amazing. It's a great price. So I will make sure to link it too. Every moment is another chance. Loving you is all I wanted. I'm wide open for a love affair Girl, when you're looking like that Close up, close up I'ma get close up to you Yeah, got me, baby Got me hooked on you once again Damn Right now I'm just getting all of their new uniform clothes out and I'm just going to organize these, put them in their little organizing bins in their closet, which I'll show you in just a second.
Okay, we're going to start in Gracie June's closet first. And here you can see her closet. And this is the little organizer that I made for them several years ago. I think three years ago now. And we've been loving it. So it has Monday through Friday. I just put some vinyl. Of course, you don't even have to be that extra. You could literally just get the hanger and put their clothes in it for each day. And then, so what I do is I put their clothes for each day. And then I also take any accessories or any practice wear that they need for that specific day. So Gracie June has specific colors she has to wear for practice on certain days of the week. So I stick all of that stuff in there so we are ready to go for clothes for the entire week. And now I'm moving on to Kaysen's and I'm just putting his stuff in there and it works the exact same way. And this has made mornings so much easier for us. The kids can just go in their closet, get their clothes out for the day, get dressed for the day, and they're good to go. Now, I did do this for them for the first week of school, but the nice thing, especially with the uniforms, they know exactly what they have to put in their cubbies. They know what they're supposed to wear each day, so they can do this themselves. Um, they did do this last year by themselves because honestly, they never wanted to wear what I picked out for them anyways, so they could put their own clothes in there and get them all ready for the week, and it just made life easier. Okay, so now we're actually moving on to our homework station. This is another area that I set up last year, and we have a few random things in here, so I'm just going to put this stuff away, and then I've got some leftover um, journals that were from Gracie June's class from last year, so I'm going to put those away. And then these are actually little notebooks that we got for the kids where we write back and forth to each other. Um, there's one for me and Kaysen. There's one for Gracie June and me. And then there's one for each of the kids also for their dad. It's really neat. I got them off of Amazon. I think I got them for Valentine's Day last year. I don't know, but they're really cute. Anyways, so I'm just cleaning this drawer out and we have all of our stuff in here, all, our, all of our supplies for our homework station. This is where the kids typically do their homework is right here at our breakfast table. And then I'm gonna also leave these little notebooks in here and the kids can just grab whatever they need when they're doing their homework. And right behind or right beside our homework station, there's a little chair right here. This is where they keep their book bags too, just because we don't have like a mud room or anything like that. So this is where, this is just our little school station I guess <laughs> okay we went to Sam's today and I actually took the kids with me and we picked out a whole bunch of snacks we got some other things that we needed for the house too but I let the kids pick out a bunch of snacks and hopefully this will last us at least a month so really quickly I'll do a little haul we got some toilet paper some coffee and then the kids picked out these potato chips um, we got some z-bars we got some new Nutella. These will probably be a very rare occasion snack. Um, more like a dessert type thing. We needed more popcorn, so I got that. Some fruit by the foots. Kaysen picked these out, and then Gracie June picked out these little fruit snacks, and yes, they already have all the Halloween stuff out. Um, we've got several bags of chips. We've got Cool Ranch Doritos. We've got sour cream and onion because neither one of these, well, this one is in the variety pack here, but Gracie June really wanted some sour cream and onion, so I figured I could divvy this up into smaller bags for snacks. Um, and then we're doing nachos tomorrow night, so I got this big bag of Tostitos. We got some Chex Mix to kind of switch it up a little bit. And then, of course, some goldfish. Now, those are not all the snacks that my kids are gonna eat. These are just the easy grab-and-go ones. We're definitely gonna have some other things for them to choose from as well. All right, I'm gonna go put these away. All right, we have all of our snacks put away, all the groceries put up. So here you can see we've got lots and lots of chips. These are our bigger bags of chips and pretzels, and then these are the individual pack bags. Then right here we've got crackers and we've got lots of popcorn. Next snack basket we've got some Rice Krispie treats, some raisins, and then some yogurt covered raisins, lots of goldfish, and then those little Nutella packets. Moving on to our next snack basket, we've got lots of gummies, the fruit roll-ups. These are some different um, bags of goldfish that we already had and then some Pringles that we already had. So these are some more snacks. 
Moving up here, we've got our sweets in this basket. We've got more snacks. We've got lots of like beef jerky sticks and crackers and Z bars. And then this is our breakfast bin. Um, we've got lots of Z bars. We've got pop tarts in the back, rice, rice cakes. And then I still haven't tried this, but I need to, but this looks good. Lots of protein. I just haven't tried it yet. Um, and then I also got these little peanut butter bites. So these would be good in like a little trail mix or just, you know, a quick little snack. Just grab a few of these when you feel like snacking on something. And then of course we've got like our pasta, we've got our cereal, um, pretzels that are filled with peanut butter, more cereal, more raisins, and then my snacks are pretty much down here, like all my Built Bars, Verb Energy Bars, all that kind of stuff. So anyways, that is all of our snacks. They are all ready to go. The kids can grab these and help me actually pack them in their book bags the night before school. And yeah, it's gonna save a lot of stress. All right, we are moving on to making some projects for back to school. So here, the first thing that I'm doing is I'm making our back to school little banner for our breakfast that we're doing. I do a back to school breakfast pretty much every single year. Um, it's just something fun that I like to do for the kids. So I just print these off and then cut them out with my Cricut. So it's so easy to do. Um, I did do like design these in Cricut Studio. I just used a little font that I found for free off of defont.com. Um, I'll leave the link or I'll leave the name of the font down in the description box. I can't think of it off the top of my head, but I'll find it. I'll leave it in the description box. Um, but when you design these, you can actually print and cut them out and they print out with a regular printer and then it leaves this little box around so your Cricut knows exactly where to cut your file. And I even have it cut a little hole for me to put my string through. So literally all I do is have to string these things up and I'm done. So if you didn't notice, I decided to go with a groovy theme for back to school this year. So you'll see all the smiley faces and all the, you know, cool vibes or whatever. Um, as I'm making all these little projects and I even went with the same theme when I was creating gifts for their teachers. So I'm excited to show you all the stuff that I made. Okay, so all of my little pieces are cut out and you can see all I had to do was put some string through them and then I got to hang it up. Now the other little thing that I'm doing for back to school breakfast are these little pendants and I made a school teacher tag for some of the gifts so I printed them out and then like I said my Cricut just does all the cutting for me. Now the next project I wanted to work on was back to school teacher gifts so I got a couple of shirts for Gracie June's teachers and a couple of canvas totes and then for the canvas tote I found this little design off of Etsy so I just bought that cut file off of Etsy. I'll link it down below in case you have a Cricut and you wanna do this same design or anything. Um, I just bought that off of Etsy, loaded it up into my Cricut design space, and then I cut out all of my vinyl. And then the next thing I'm doing is using my Cricut Easy Press to just heat press it onto my canvas tote. So I love doing back to school teacher gifts just because one, they're fun, and two, I used to be a teacher so I know how much work goes into it. And I just like to start the year off with just a little thank you because I know, you know, they're gonna be spending more time with my kids than even I do. So I'm very appreciative of that and all the work and time that goes into their jobs. But I love my Cricut because I'm able to do so many different things with this machine and it's so easy to use now it can be intimidating at first but on youtube there are a bazillion different tutorial videos if i ever don't know how to do something i just look it up really quick on youtube and i can always find out how to do something so i love that i love that so many people share all these different projects and diys that they've done it's just so much fun okay so now i'm creating their t-shirts and i just found these couple of pictures in Cricut Design Space 
and I overlapped them and created my own design. But I did see that they have one similar to this on Etsy. So if you don't know how to make your own designs and you want to do something really quick and easy, then I definitely suggest going to Etsy and just purchasing the cut file. Or you can go through in Cricut Design Space and search in the pictures or projects and most likely you can find something cute that you can use. But I love these cute little shirts. I feel like they turned out really good and they go along with my little groovy back to school theme. The next part of the teacher gift, I found these iron-on patches at Hobby Lobby and I felt like they were a really good price for what I've seen on like Amazon. You can buy them for pretty cheap on Etsy, but usually they come from overseas and they cost a lot less, but they take forever to get to you. Um, but I'm just using the little mini press to press these onto these little zip-up bags and you can find all kinds of cute bags off of Etsy too. All right, I've got all of their school supplies and all the new things that I got for them for back to school. So I'm gonna show you guys really quick. So these are all of Gracie June's school supplies right here. Now, I originally let her get this little poppet pencil pouch, but I decided this might be a distraction in the classroom. So I'm gonna let her keep that at home. And instead, I have this little, it's actually a makeup bag that I purchased from a website online. You guys have probably seen me make these little makeup bags before. So this is like a smaller one. It's perfect size for a pencil pouch. And what I'm gonna do is I also got these from the same place. I'm gonna put her, I got some E6000 glue. I'm just gonna put her initials on one side like this. And then on the other side, I'm gonna do this little iron-on smiley face pouch, or patch, not pouch smiley face patch. So that's gonna be her actual pencil box or pouch that she uses for school. Um, and then these are Kaysen's school supplies. They actually provide a binder for them so I don't have to worry about that. So he really didn't have near as much as Gracie June. Um, and then moving over here, I did get them new lunch boxes and I also got some new little freezer packs because we are down to, I think, two, and sometimes that just doesn't work. So I got this four pack off of Amazon. I love the colors that it came with. It was perfect for my two kids. I also got Kaysen's lunchbox and Gracie June's lunchbox off of Amazon. Um, and then I got this little bento style lunchbox type thing, which I'll show you guys how I use it for the first day of school. Um, and then I got these little thermoses to keep things either cold or hot in them and this came in a two pack they do have them in like single packs and a whole bunch of different colors but i went with this little two pack i thought that was perfect for my kids and then also i have more of these upstairs i gotta go get another one but i'm not sure which color i'm gonna do either pink or blue but i'm gonna also put a little patch on there for gracie june as well and then I have all the teacher gift things laid out that I still need to put together. I still need to put together the back to school breakfast stuff. So all that's just kind of laid out right here. Um, and then these are their new book bags. So this one is Kaysen's. We went with a dark gray and then we got his initials in red. And then this one is Gracie June's book bag. It's kind of, I thought it was more of a, um, like a pinkish color when I saw it online, but it's more, of a light purple but it's still really pretty and then we actually saw this at Hobby Lobby and Gracie June really wanted to get it so I thought it would be really cute if we iron it on to the book bag so we might do that but those are their book bags and they have the L.L. Bean ones I actually their old book bags are L.L. Bean too well Kaysen had an Under Armour one, but he also had an L.L. Bean. He just wanted an Under Armour one year. And then Gracie June had an L.L. Bean book bag that she used from pre-K all the way through third grade. So this is her first new book bag since pre-K. So that's awesome that they last so long. And those, are, both of their old book bags are actually still in really good condition and they could probably still use them, but um, Kaysen needed a bigger book bag. And then, like I said, Gracie June had been using the same one for so long, I decided it was time for a new one. And she wanted it to look more fourth grade-ish and not so 
little girl. So that's why we got a new one for her as well. All right, so I'm gonna put all their school supplies together and label the things that I need to label and pack everything up. Okay, I'm about to put our teacher tote bags together and I wanted to show you what all we're putting in them this year. I think they turned out so cute. So here's the tote bag, first of all. I love the colors, I love the way it turned out. Um, and then this is the little bag that I just ironed on their initials. We've got Diet Coke, that's their drink of choice and you know that teachers need that caffeine the first day of school, so got them that. Some felt tip pens. Um, and then this is the teacher shirt that I made earlier in the video and I'm gonna roll it up and tie it off with some ribbon and I'm gonna attach this little um, Card that I made it says it's going to be a groovy school year with you as my teacher And then I also printed off some extra little cards with Gracie June's favorite Bible verses on them um, So I'm gonna just stick those in there with them. So that is everything for our teacher back to school bags all right, so I'm putting these back to school bags together really quickly. I think they turned out so cute. And then I'm gonna start setting up for the back to school breakfast. Now, I did not do these for Kaysen's teachers because since he's in middle school, he now has like seven different teachers. So I am going to bring them donuts though one day soon. I didn't do it the first day of school because I figured the school might be doing something for them. But I do know that they love donuts and they also have a school staff break room for the middle school teachers. So I'm going to bring stuff for the break room as well. But if you guys have any fun ideas for little things that you like to do for your kiddos that have like a ton of teachers, y'all let me know down in the comments because I definitely want to think of some things to do for them. Okay, I have all of their school supplies labeled and everything is ready to go. So now I'm gonna clean this area and set up for their back to school breakfast. Before the back to school breakfast this year, I decided to do back to school baskets and I got these little baskets off of Amazon and then I'm gonna put their new school supplies and all the things that I got them for back to school here in these baskets. And I love this because everything that they're getting in these baskets, they're actually gonna use throughout the school year and they turned out super cute and got them really excited for back to school.
the last thing I did for their back to school breakfast was I printed off their favorite Bible verses and I put them on these little cards and stuck them inside of their baskets, but I also wrote them each a note for the first day of school. Okay, the last thing I did the night before school started was pack Gracie June's lunch and I asked her what she wanted and she's super simple. So we ended up going with peanut butter and jelly, some fruit, a little Rice Krispie treat, and she wanted the sour cream and onion chips. And then I've got goldfish and a Capri Sun. Now the goldfish are actually for a snack, but all of her stuff is ready to go. And like I said, she, this is the lunch that she picked out for the first day of school. So here we are on the first day of school. We went super easy and got Krispy Kreme donuts and the kids were so excited about their baskets. Kaysen loved the Under Armour slip-on sandals um, and they had an amazing first day. It went really smooth. The kids had a great transition at their new school. So that was awesome. Great transition for Kaysen into sixth grade and we are so happy. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new here. Introduce yourself down in the comments. And I hope you guys have an amazing school year, an amazing week, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.